It's Sunday morning, everybody. It's Sunday, what you doing today? Are you resting? I can't today, I've gotta to drive. We're in Calgary, Alberta, I'm headed east. I'm going back to Manitoba with this load that I have behind me. I showed you it yesterday. It's this, uh, uh, it's parts for a crane assembly. I'm going to a site in western or southwestern Manitoba. We're gonna bring it over there and then I've got a load that's gonna be waiting for me the next day in Kenora, taking me down to Minnesota. That's what we got behind us. So let's get that out east. Somebody needs it in Manitoba. Now ready to rock. And yes, I did nose into this corner spot here because I can do this. Roll back about 10 feet. Maybe 20. <laughs> and exit. Had a nice quiet night and the nose of my truck was protected there from anyone dragging their trailer over it. That's why we did that. I don't always nose in, I actually very rarely do. But in a situation like that, it just made sense. So, every day is a little different. Let's get ourselves on to Stony Trail southbound, Highway 201. We're on the southeast side of Calgary. This guy in front of me has a convertible Mustang. And he's got a lawnmower in there. <laughs> he's got a push mower in his Mustang. Like not, not in the trunk, it's in the car. <laughs> hey, whatever works, man. Whatever works. Who needs a pickup truck? Just get a convertible. Put it in the back seat.
some pretty crazy wind here right now. No alerts coming through to my phone, but you can't just rely on that, right? Hopefully there will be no tornadoes touching down nearby. We've got a strong wind coming out of the south just to our right. Yikes, and the temperature dropped fast. Wow. It's pretty cool in here now. Looks like we're sort of just skirting around the edge of it, too. You can see the, the lighter skies off to the left. It's just this one cloud that we got to get under. Could be worse. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. Getting a free truck wash tonight though. Today, sorry, it's still daytime. It's five o'clock right now uh, in the afternoon here at Mountain Time. Traveling uh, east through Saskatchewan. We're just uh, north of Montana. We just got around Regina, Saskatchewan now. Uh, we'll be going past Balgonia right away. And what do you know, I got a tornado warning alarm on my phone. I guess we just got through that storm fast enough. <laughs> Again. Oh boy, you can't catch me. What's that movie called? Catch me if you can. It's tornadoes, they keep getting touching down behind me. Yikes. I didn't see anything. I didn't even think there was one, but I was on the phone with my dad, and uh, suddenly I had this just when I hung up, I had this, well, it says Environment Canada, tornado, uh, in big letters, tornado, take immediate cover in a basement or interior room if weather threat approaches, shelter from flying debris if outside. Well, good thing we're inside. I wonder how these tornado warnings work. Like, does a tornado have to touch down and then suddenly they send out an alert to all the cell phones in the area? How did they know I was in the area? Are they spying on me? Of course they're spying on me. The government's always spying on you. How else would they know that you're right there in the tornado zone? They know where you are. I wish I could show a tornado in my vlog once. That would make for great footage. Can you imagine the views? Trucker Josh and a tornado! That'd be a great one, man, that'd be... <laughs> that'd be some good footage. Oh, what do we got here? What is that thing? What is that thing? Oh, it's like one of those big uh, asphalt eaters. Chew up the road and spit it out the back. Probably getting ready to. Oh, they're on the other side there. They, they just repaved the other side of the road with asphalt and not gravel. Saskatchewan, where are you watching my videos? Saskatchewan, good for you. I'd give you a hand, but I'm driving. They got actual asphalt down on the road over there, not just gravel. Huh. Getting better every day. It's been mostly all highway driving today, everyone. So uh, we've been booking it. We've been driving 10 hours, just about what, nine and three quarter hours right now. Been driving another three hours or so yet. I'm gonna try to get to Headingley, Manitoba and uh, sleep there. That means we'll have a couple of hours yet to do tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'm supposed to be dropping this trailer off. Uh, at a job site. I don't know if they'll be there or not. Well, that's the plan. So, a lot of road footage for you today. Not a lot of talking. Maybe uh, you guys will be happier that you don't see my face. Who knows? But this is my day today. It's been uh, go, go, go. 
getting across the prairies. Sorry guys, I know you've been just looking out my windshield for most of the day. We're here in Brandon, Manitoba. I'm gonna pull into the Petro Pass here. They've got the cheapest juice on my route. I was gonna fuel it Flying J, but it's seven cents a liter more to fuel her up there than here. So Petro Pass, ding, 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 you win. You win my business, congratulations. Fuel her up here, and we don't gotta worry about it tomorrow, and I'll probably go to uh, Orangeville Prairie or something and sleep there overnight. Got about two hours left on my clock that I can drive. We've gotten quite far. We've driven 1,120 kilometers already, so. And we're still gonna go a little bit further yet. One sec, what is that in miles? Take my calculatory device, go 1120 kilometers divided by 1.61. We've driven 696 miles today already, and I still have two hours available to me on my 13 hour clock on Canadian hours of service. <clears throat> so let's go grab some fuel and get back on the road. All right, we did awful fuel economy because we were fighting the wind the whole way here, and I'm also in a little bit of a hurry, so I was boogieing in a little bit. Bumped her up from a, from a 62 mile an hour to a whole 65 mile an hour. Whew. I was in the left lane, gang. I can't say that seriously. Uh, I bumped it up a little bit, but it affects my fuel economy very quickly. Uh, but it was mostly the wind that was... So from Calgary, <coughs> excuse me, to here, 50.17 liters per 100 kilometers, 4.69 miles per gallon US. Oh, ouch! Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It's gonna be tender for a while. Wow. 77 cents per kilometer. Cost me, uh, so $798 Canadian. Whew. Yowzers. Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, and it was uh, a long day yesterday, but uh, we made it here to Portage La Prairie. It was over 1,200 kilometers. This is where we got to. It is a hot day today. It's the following day, the following morning. I'm just getting ready to go. We gotta go deliver this trailer. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video, right? Don't forget to subscribe. We make new videos all the time. Be safe out there, drive safe. We'll see you later.